Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going over the current downtrend on Bitcoin and how if this holds we could be actually seeing much lower prices to come. I also want to be covering the current harmonic pattern that we are trading right now. So I hope that you really enjoy this video. I suppose we can also take a quick look at Ethereum. I want to focus on Bitcoin but I will take a quick look at Ethereum just the next support to the downside. Um, so I hope that you really enjoy. And without further said or do, let's get into the analysis. So Bitcoin, as we know, we have our two, well, currently our two really key daily levels. We have our daily support currently and our daily resistance. As you know from yesterday's video, this is why I absolutely love it. The CC level, man, it's just so amazing. We were taking our fibs from low to the high, and we know that we went into CC support. And then what we're doing is we're taking our fibs from the high to the low and we're going to CC resistance. It's like I was saying over on Instagram, CC support to CC resistance. This is just, it's pretty, it's pretty, it offers really nice traits. So we obviously see low, high, CC, 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 to the exact CC, to the breakdown going into the daily close, to the back test of support into resistance, to see the rejection to confirm the breakdown. And uh, this is a bit of a question to get you thinking. What harmonic do you think most people would be expecting when they see low, high, CC, CC? What harmonic are most people going to be thinking is going to be playing out? I think most people are going to be thinking the Gali harmonic. But I actually was thinking that we get the bat harmonic, which looks like this. This is your, sorry, your crab harmonic. That's your crab. And so why was I thinking that we're not going to get the Gali, but we're going to get the crab? Well, this is what Yesterday, I posted in my champions group at 11, <laughs> nearly half 11 at night. On a Saturday night, here I was giving a chart and I wasn't posting throughout the day the Gartley harmonic. I wasn't thinking a butterfly harmonic. The one and only harmonic that I posted was this crap. And as you can see, I'm predicting that we're going to break down below the daily support. Why was I predicting that we're going to get the crab? And why was I predicting that we were going to get below the daily? Well, really simply. The way that I was personally trading this, as you know from, you know, I made it very transparent in yesterday's public video even, that I was in a short position. And at 11.30 last night, I was also saying, at the moment, I'm still in a short position. I was going to be aware of the swing failure pattern, had no nothing preset, but this was the only harmonic that I could personally see. And it was the crab to bring us down below the daily to basically reel in some shorts. And, you know, you have to remember why was I kind of thinking this? Well, it's the weekend. <laughs> you know, generally you look to fade those moves on the weekend. It also looked really likely that we were going to go for a swing failure pattern. And well, this if we add on the harmonic that we have right now, so we're taking it from the low to the high, down to the low of the CC, back up to the high of that CC, and then you end with your crap, okay? Which is obviously just looking below that daily level, which is, <laughs> this was the prediction and this is exactly as predicted. <laughs> so we obviously have that crab down at, at, uh, at the low. Bouncing off around 44000 It was a big support level. We did get the initial bounce off of $44,000. So I don't think there's anything really surprising about any of this move. And um, I suppose, obviously, I'm in a trading position. You know, I'm, I'm in a trade right now. But what I want to do is approach this as if I was in no trades at all. Like, how would I approach this for educational reasons? How would I approach this if I was in absolutely nothing right now? Well, we always have three options in trading, long, short, or stay out the market waiting for a higher probability trade. Okay, so would I short where we are right now? Well, if you think of it like this, we're here on the 30 minute chart. We are down at around our daily support zone. Okay, and we're actually above the daily right now. So would I say in terms of a swing trade that I'd be comfortable opening a short here? Well, my honest answer is no, I wouldn't be comfortable opening a short position here. And this is where it has to, you have to have a bit of confidence in your trading setups. You know, this is obviously the place where you look for shorts and I was taking shorts. Whereas this is clearly, you know, you're just way too late for the shorts. You know, if you're short in here, this is like way too late for the short. And yeah, I just personally wouldn't be able to do it. So that's, op you know, that's option number one. I wouldn't personally short it. Option number two, if I was in no trade, again, I am in a trade, but if I was in nothing, would I be comfortable longing here? Well, in terms of would I short, would I long, I feel the long is obviously a better trade, clearly, because we're at this support zone. But personally, we are forming a lower term time frame, rising wedge. So statistically speaking, you could expect this to get at least a bit of a something like this. You would expect this rising wedge to just at least get a bit of a pullback uh, before obviously that offers you your better long opportunity. 
So, you know, the way that I would trade this, I wouldn't enter the long right now, but I would if we got the next pullback. Okay. Uh, or option number three, which is the one that I would choose right now if I was in no trade, and that is stay out of the market. So I would personally be comfortable staying out of the market right now, either waiting for the pullback to enter a bit of of a better risk to reward ratio long or alternatively waiting for a more of a rise to take the next short personally i would be very comfortable <laughs> very comfortable indeed not being in a trade right now if i was in no position because you know your best shorts were obviously up at the daily i was very transparent saying exactly what i was doing there where are your best longs where it's off the long it's off the swing failure pattern of the low when you hit the low of your d of your crab harmonic pattern i will show you this swing failure pattern by the way so if we just delete everything, where is the swing failure? There's your low. We bring this across. We take the low, close back above. There's your swing failure. You're already in 3% profits. So it's like, you know, that, that that that's the long. You have to have a bit of gumption about you. You have to, bit of, have to have a bit of confidence to take the longs when it's at the lows. You have to take that, have to have that confidence to take your shorts up at the highs. Uh, or, you know, that's just simply the way that I view this. And then here... I would say you have to have that bit of patience to wait for a higher probability trade. And, you know, let's say you miss the short, you miss the long. Just say to yourself, OK, I missed both those really nice trades. You know, I can't turn back the time and <laughs> and see Daniel's post last night. So I'm just left with what I have now. And I would say if you're left with what you have now, I personally wouldn't trade here. I'd either have to see an increase or a decrease. OK, period. Simple as that. So then what do you have the next level? Okay, well, the next level that you could say is obviously if you do get this rise in price, fifth from high to low, you have this resistance really coming in at around basically 47,000. What's this? The CC is actually coming in there around 46,800. But 46,800 to 47,000, you have your CC resistance. Obviously, offers you your next best opportunity. We, you, know, you might not get that high. This is the thing that I'm looking at here. Low, this is your high, your low, your lower high, lower low, lower high. Lower low, we could just put in our lower high and continue the downtrend. Alternatively, we form another sort of rounded bottom here. So, I mean, this is this is the thing. For, for me right now, looking at this Bitcoin chart, I just feel, you know, literally where we are right this second, I feel it's too much of a gamble. I wouldn't be interested in the short because we're at too much of a, a support zone. Wouldn't be interested in the long because I feel that we're, I feel it's likely we're going to get a bit of a pullback here before any sort of other rise in price. So, you know, really simply, I would say if I was in no trades, then I would I would wait. I, I would wait right now. Again, I am in a trade, so I'm, I'm a bit more privileged in that regards. But if I was in nothing, I would be comfortable. Really, I would be waiting right now. OK, so that's the quick look at Bitcoin that I want to do. Well, how long are we going on there? Seven minutes, <laughs> seven minutes. And I want to do maybe one minute on, a, on Ethereum here. Ethereum, we've got this really big weekly support. As we know, that's $1,365. If we break down, the only way, you know, if, if Bitcoin breaks down, Ethereum is 100% going to break down. And then you'd be looking at your next support on ETH about $1,215, in my opinion. Give that a little bit of a zone, but that sort of region, 1215 is the next level that I'll be looking for, and that is about another increase decrease of about 11%. Uh, obviously, if Bitcoin breaks down here, okay, then that, 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 that those sort of prices on ETH are going to be expected because uh, Ethereum follows Bitcoin. So, if Bitcoin does reject here and you don't get any sort of you know nice retracement for an increase, and we actually lose the low of D, um, we start to break down. You can be very, very, very certain that um, Ethereum USD is also going to be breaking down. And again, that support, next support to the downside, in my opinion, is 1,215. Just really simply your next weekly level. Um, so that's really what I wanted to cover here. Um, yeah, I'm not that interested in trading this right now because it's Sunday morning. I'm going to go out and enjoy the day. Uh, what I will say is if you want to know my next more, you know, if you want more in-depth analysis and you want to know my exact trade that I'm going to be taking next, uh, I got a live stream tonight in about, what, in about eight hours time where I'm going to be going through my next Bitcoin trading plan. This is for the champions over at chartchampions.com, where I will delete all of my technical analysis, start my chart from scratch and build up a plan. So if you're interested in knowing my next Bitcoin trade, then you can catch that over at chartchampions.com. Uh, obviously, my plans recently have been going very well indeed, not to show off too much, but <laughs> they pretty have been going very well. For the people that, you know, can't get into the group at the moment for whatever reason 
then I've given you hopefully a little bit of uh, insights of what you could be looking for for your next potential trade setup. Um, you know, so I've hopefully given you enough information that you can maybe work out a plan on your own. If you aren't at the stage to make your own plans, you just want to copy my plan. Well, that's what I'm going to be going through in tonight's Champions live stream. Obviously, we are primarily an educational group. So this is a really good exercise for learning. We'll end by saying, make sure you read the legal disclaimer here. No financial advice in this video. You do have to make your own plans, your own um uh, you know, you have to come to your own decisions based off your own research. So make sure you understand I'm not a financial advisor. Um, I'm just giving you my opinions and perspective off of the charts, which have a very nice win rate right now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this this really quick Sunday morning analysis. Really hope it was helpful for you. And uh, maybe I'll see you in the live stream tonight if you're interested. So thank you ever so much, everybody. Have a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant day. And that's me signing off. Thank you ever so much. And goodbye. Cheers.